Good afternoon, my name is Dr. Winston McQueen and I'm a resident physician in Manatee Medical Center. So today I would like to talk about an acid-base overview, okay? Acid-base base overview. So one of the things, uh, one of the important things when you see an ABG is to recognize what is going on with the patient. So one of the things that I like to do is this figure here. Okay. So remember, the first thing you're going to, to see in an ABG is the pH. pH is very important, guys. And the normal value is 7.4, okay? This is the normal value. And then this will give you if the patient has acidemia or alkalemia, okay? Let's imagine the patient has acidosis. You have to check this side. And then the patient has alkalosis. The other number that you have to check next is how is the PCO2, okay? So when you see in a normal patient, this is about 40. This is the normal, and everything normal is here. This is an equilibrium. I, I wanna see. I wanna tell you also that CO2 can go. This is a reversible reaction that can convert into the ions H plus HCO3. This is the bicarbonate. So the bicarbonate here, the normal limit around 28. So first thing you have to check, as I see, as I tell, is the pH in an ABG. The second number you have to check is the PO, the, the PCO2. The normal number is 40 when it's high and when it's low. So let's see if a patient is right here. Let's, let's think about the pH lower than 7.4 will give you acidosis. And also, what is the reaction going on here? The reaction going on here is that pH is low Okay, H, CO3. So the CO is normal here, as I said. What happened here is normal. The H pretty much elevated, and the, the bicarbonate is low. How low? Very low. So this is what we call acid, uh, metabolic acidosis. Okay, metabolic acidosis. Okay. Let's go to the other side. What happened here? If the patient has the pH over 7.4 and then the other number you want to see is the PO2. So CO2 is normal and then so what you're going to see if you are thinking about alkalemia but alkalosis, but in this area, you have to think about uh, alkalo metabolic alkalosis. So what you're going to see here is the pH over 7.4, the PCO2 is going to be normal. This is normal, the, the ions are going to be, you know, pretty much decrease, and the bicarbonate is going to be very high. Okay, and if you ask me what are the organs that are going to be working here in order to compensate, up here you are going to see pretty much the kidney working and also the lungs are going to do the compensation up here too. The kidney and the lungs are going to do the compensation. Okay. So I want to be clear again, 7.4 lower than this number is acidosis. If it's around this, uh, the lower uh, bicarbonate is called metabolic acidosis. And the organs that will uh, pretty much um, balance the, the reaction are the, the kidney and the lung. If we go to the other side, the pH over 7.4, the, the other number is the PCO2 is normal. The bicarbonate, the bicarbonate is high, this is called metabolic alkalosis, and the two organs that are going to compensate are the kidney and the lung. 
So let's imagine if you have pH lower than 7.4, talking about acidosis, and then the, the next number you see is the PaCO2. So what's going to be happening here, CO2 is going to be elevated, okay? The H is going to be elevated too. And it's going to be elevated, but not that much. When you're talking about uh, respiratory acidosis, this is called respiratory, respiratory acidosis. What are the organs here that are going to compensate? The only organs that are going to compensate are the kidney. That's why this take time in order to compensate. But if you go to the other side, let's imagine you have a pH over 7.4, and let's see the reaction here one more time. Ions plus, excuse me here, and the bicarbonate here. Yeah. Like I said, if this is low, talking about around 20, the, the ions are going to be pretty much um, decreased, and the bicarbonate is going to be decreased. Not that much as compared with uh, metabolic acidosis. In this case, uh, this is called uh, uh, respiratory, respiratory alkalosis. Okay, so this is a very simple way to uh, address uh, the ABG. Let's remember one more time. The first number you check is the pH. The second number you check is the PCO2, and the last number you check is the bicarbonate. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the video.